In our sample app, we require users to submit the address of a supplier. Unfortunately, our users can have varying quality with the submitted data. We can drastically improve the quality of this data by enabling the Address Autofill feature available in apps created with Code on Time. Let's go ahead and see how easy it is to enable the feature. The first step will require us to acquire an access key for the Google Maps API. Note that when creating your API key, you will need to enable the geocoding API and the Maps Static API to use the features showcased in this tutorial. Once you have your API key, let's save the value under our project settings. In the App Generator, click on the project name and press Develop. Open the file called touchsettings.json. We will want to add a server section. Underneath server, we'll add geocoding. Let's add a section called Google, which will have a property called key. Paste your key between the double quotes. Make sure to save the file. Next, Let's enable the Address Autofill feature on the Address fields in CreateForm 1 of the Supplier Controller. Open the Project Designer. Switch to the Controllers tab. Under CreateForm 1 view of the Supplier's Controller, let's add tags to the Address fields. The address field will have the tag autofill address address1. City will have the tag autofill address city. Region will have the tag autofill address region. Postal code will have the tag autofill address postal code. Finally, country field will have the tag autofill address country. Let's go ahead and see how automatic address autofill works. By default, the first autofill field in the form will trigger the process. When the trigger field in the autofill set is filled in, the client framework will query Google Geocoding API to fetch the correct values. The verification will be rerun every time the trigger field is changed. Clearing the address field will also clear the remaining fields. Clearing non-mandatory fields will not have any effect on the other fields. Let's try another value. Notice that two options are present. Google has notified us that there is two possible matches. We can use the mouse or keyboard to select the desired address. What happens when there are no matches? 
There is no resolution and none of the field values are populated. A notification at the bottom of the window will tell us that there are no matches. Wouldn't it be great to show a preview of the address right within the form? Fortunately, we can easily do that with Code on Time App Generator. In the Project Designer, we'll want to add a new virtual field to the supplier's controller. We'll give it the name Map. Make sure to mark it as virtual, as well as marking it as Retrieved on Demand. Go ahead and save the new field. Next, let's bind this field to the CreateForm1 view. Finally, we'll want to tag this field, Autofill Address Map. Let's see our changes. Notice that our map field now displays a small preview. We can tap on the map to open it in our default navigation app. We can also right-click to view the point on the map or to gain directions. We can also show static maps on read-only forms. For example, the supplier's edit form. First, we'll need to add the map field to edit form 1 of suppliers. We'll want to make sure that this field is tagged as autofill address map. We'll also want to make sure that the rest of the address fields have the proper tags. Let's see how our static map works. Notice that opening the form for our supplier will reveal a small preview of the supplier's location right within the form, all achieved with a simple tag. We can also provide additional refinement of addresses. One of the available providers is the USPS address refinement. First, we'll need to gain access to the USPS Web Tools API. Once you have gained access to your API key, let's go ahead and add the details under the Touch Settings file. Inside the Geocoding section, let's add another section for USPS. Specify the serial number, your username, and your password. Make sure to save the file. Once the USPS details are provided, the application will automatically start refining the addresses provided by the Google Geocoding API using the USPS Web Tools API. If we try using the same address as before, we can see that the real address as used by USPS, will be populated.
The benefit of this technique is that the Google Geocoding API is much more permissive of spelling or other errors. The USPS Web Tools API, on the other hand, will resolve the Google address to the exact USPS address. Note that any addresses outside of the United States will be left untouched by the USPS address resolver. Developers can choose to create their own custom address resolution extensions as well. We can also extract additional information. Let's go ahead and add three columns. Now that we've added address type, latitude, and longitude to our table, let's go ahead and refresh the project schema. Click on the project name and press refresh. Make sure to check the box next to the database schema has changed recently. Go ahead and click on model. Let's include our new fields. and save the model. Next, we'll want to add the autofill tags to our new fields. Press Finish, and open the Project Designer. Let's add the address autofill tags to our new fields in CreateForm 1. For address type, use the tag autofill address type. For latitude, use the tag autofill address latitude. For longitude, use the tag autofill address longitude. Let's see how these three new fields work. Notice that we got a type, as well as a latitude and longitude. Let's try another type of address. The type of this address is an establishment. We can also increase precision of the address autofill feature by requiring the user to input multiple fields. These fields will need to be tagged as autofill address trigger. Let's go ahead and mark the address and postal code fields as the trigger fields. Notice that after populating the address field, autofill has not yet been triggered. We'll need to fill in the zip code as well. Having multiple trigger fields, we'll postpone the autofill until all trigger fields are entered, providing for enhanced resolution for your values. Mm -hmm.